leaving that open on your laptop is probably not a good idea. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Aha! Chloe! I found the front door! Come on! Maximus rules. Okay, this is gonna get kind of God, this is okay. way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Oh, pictures on the walls and freaky stuff. Hey, check out this old chest. Freaky noises. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Hey. the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. <laughs> this tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. 1903. I need to regard your assigned death, so you have children to ignore, because that's my establishment. Uh, uh, uh. Oh dear. So I'm guessing they took the farm then. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Ring, ring. Nothing here. Okay, well, we just have to keep looking, don't we? It's work. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Just rotting wood. Oh, good. Let's go so. the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Yeah, I'm no. looking. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Okay, so maybe I need to move. I can't look up here. 
properly. Need to move a haystack. Damn, lots of info here. I can hear something here. I find? Is it an opening or something? A bomb oh. shelter? Ooh. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? So many haystacks, so few needles. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. I need to figure out what Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some. Oh, oh, sorry. The good old days. Let's go and talk to her again, see. Fine. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Okay. Why would I need to come up here? Doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> something to do with ah okay uh... oh so I think I need to pull the rope up here silly me I forget it right now Be able to get into this. I have a feeling that it's his dark room where he makes all those photos. And uh, maybe something else as well, I don't know. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Uh, box? Hello? Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but there's nothing up here to use. To find something else to use. Pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing. It would make sense that the thing that I needed would already be up there, doesn't it? So it makes sense. 
Can I leave? Check outside. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Okay, so it's definitely not empty. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope. I cannot figure out what I'm supposed to do here. This is oh, driving me crazy. Well, I know, I know. I mean, I know what I need to do. I need to pull the rope and break the door. But I need to attach something here. Here's the other end of the rope. Drop it off the edge or something, maybe. Should make sense if I could use the hay. I can't click on anything up here. Max. Use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh, now you tell me. What the fuck? didn't work at all. Why did I do that? I need to attach the rope to it.
Damn, this is heavy. Oh, okay. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Okay, let's go. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. It looks like those are really worn out, so it must be something to do with those. Yes. That was the red the number the on the piece of paper back in the evidence board. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Can I turn a light on or something? Jesus. Now what the <gasps> hell is this? Duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Yeah, there's something wrong with him. Jesus, I already hate this place. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. More survivalist supplies. Oh. Keep oh. searching, Chloe. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, that son of a bitch. Talk about tortured. Aha, okay, so there were his files. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Ugh. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my... This picture is framed different. 
Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Kate looks so doped up. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. What is going on between Nathan and his father? I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. Here. Seems like his father might have had something to do with this. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Needles and drugs. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. Somebody likes their whiskey. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Okay, time to go. Whoa. That is fucked That's up. That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. Oh, we're going straight to the junkyard, okay. in that little room with other stuff or Look, this is it. This is it. Are you going to help me, Max? Please stop. Look. Please no. I knew that's where it was going to be. Had to be. Chloe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this?
I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. Whoa, I don't give minutes. a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something... for prosperity. Well... I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon.
Okay. We need to find Nathan and take him down. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Look, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friends. You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? If I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Energy drinks. So are the energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? Uh. No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? Oh wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code? VIP section? Elitist bullshit. Preach it, Brother Warren. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Sick now. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP okay. lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. 
Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Yeah, sounds good. Gross. How did this even get here? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I thought I put my name on the list. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Do I need to go and speak to Courtney or...? Hey Courtney, how are you? What is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I'm even on the guest list. But Zul, the gatekeeper, won't let me pass. You got on the list? <laughs> That's very unlikely, but uh, let's check it out. Follow me. Sarah, our friend Max here, claims she's on the list. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles, let's see. No way! Yes, way. That's my name right there. Oh my god. Do you think I'm that dumb, Max? That's not even my handwriting, and I'm in charge of the list. Victoria is right. You are so fucking weird. Oh, well, this is the closest you will ever get to a Vortex Club party again. Promise. Yes, you can leave now, Max. The party's over. That went well. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Can I go around and get in that side or something? Oh shit! Alyssa, are you okay? Yes, I just got tagged by a water weenie and fell in the pool. I'm great. I guess I can't expect you to warn me like you did last time. I didn't see, shut up. Oh, okay, I can't yes. do this anymore. I can't see it, but I'm sorry. Yes, you! What the hell are you 
doing over there? What the fuck? This is. I don't know. Oh fuck's sake! I need to go back. Do something else. Move the speaker first, maybe. Hmm. I could push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section. I'm gonna knock the fucking thing. Yes, you. Figured it out. Awesome. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Yes, but can he do? I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Yeah, that would do. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, in Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe. But I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her son to start. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. 
And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Thanks. Okay. So, I know I'm not talking a lot, but I'm paying a lot of attention to the story and what's actually happening, so... I'm not sure what's gonna happen now, but... Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh... Hey, Mr. Jefferson! Are you both okay? You look like you're on a mission. Oh, uh... I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals, but... I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, right. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, but I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Oh my god. Such Thank a you. Dick. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. This episode is so much longer than the others. I'm probably going to have to split this into three parts. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh, it's disappearing. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Okay, let's go. Nathan needs 
to die now. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Look, we can't Max, track Nathan please, if hurry. you're not... Is she gone? Oh god, Max, look. Oh, she's still there. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. I can't rewind. Oh my god! What dick? I can't rewind. Chloe. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Jefferson. Jefferson oh my fucking god I had like a weird little feeling when I first played the game that he, there was something wrong with him but since the whole Nathan thing I never really thought about it again but oh my fucking god that's so fucked up ah <sighs> well that's the end of episode four dark room. There's only one more episode left. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. You accepted Chloe's request. Yeah. You that warm beat up Nathan. Yeah. They're all pretty even. No one got hurt. Chloe, Victoria believed your warning. Yeah. Why would Victoria not believe your warning? Is it because I made, if I had made fun of her at the paint situation, maybe? <laughs> Let the blue jay die. What blue jay? Oh, for fuck's sake. You didn't disturb the bird's nest. Yeah. You got David Files in another way. Oh, instead of using the code, yeah. I didn't remember what the code was. I think we saw it in the previous episode, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, Kate didn't help you. Okay, I didn't really need help finding Nathan's room, so he didn't help me to say, yeah, I didn't mean to, but I couldn't go back. You figured out Nathan's pin, you didn't figure out Nathan's pin. So what would they have done without his pin? Oh, you didn't leave a message on, on Slayer. Oh, I didn't know I could do that, sorry. You didn't motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex Club. Okay, that's it. Um, ah, stop, 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 stop watching, don't watch, don't watch, nobody can watch that, that is for next time, thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, I'll see you in the next one, bye.